Buzz Aldrin. Welcome, Buzz. Thank you so much for being here. Good to be again. Always an honor to talk to you, Buzz. Now, Buzz, thank you for being here. Uh, you have a new book. It's called The Moon Landing Was Not Faked. True? That's... <laughs> we don't make mistakes. <laughs> A ridiculous yep. rumor: the moon landing was not fake. The moon landing happened exactly the way the whole world saw it. Faked. See everybody, there is no reason to ever say that again. <laughs> there is no reason to ever say that again. <laughs> and there are no more secrets to be exposed about the moon. I wouldn't say that. What, what, do you, what do you mean, Buzz? This is a segment where viewers try to find mistakes on our show, okay? Thinks he caught a mistake. Men on the moon, so that's an error. Thank you, Conan, for letting me set the record straight. Screw up, punk. Screw up, punk. Oh, well, let's talk about this, because this is fascinating. I remember very clearly, I think anybody who was alive at the time does, I remember my parents waking me up, and we went down and we watched... You guys land on the moon, no, which you was... No, you didn't. What? Because uh, uh, there wasn't any television. There wasn't anybody taking a picture. You watched animation. See, you associated what you saw with... I have very hazy memories. Well, Saturn V rocket, and as the vapor starts to jet from the valves, I sense a boom in the offing. Can you feel it? Uh, we call this the EZLS, or Enhanced Zero Gravity Locomotion Simulator. Um, we can simulate the, uh, the ISS. We, we can actually float this on a film of, of air, on, on air bearings, so it reacts to the, uh, the footfalls of our, our human test subjects, our, our human volunteers that we appreciate so much. Um, and uh, so we can really get a, a good simulation of what the... Um, so one of the uh, one of the the success stories to come out of this lab is is a um, new, more ergonomic, more comfortable harness um, that was developed with um, uh, our collaborators at the Cleveland Clinic, and um, the crew members were coming back from the expeditions uh, with complaints of the previous harness design of causing discomfort, and um, so we um, we worked with the clinic and our engineer to develop a, a new and better design. So that, that design was tested here in the simulator and uh, uh, great uh, feedback from the crew and um, we transitioned to operations and now the crew members uh, each get a, get a uh, what's called a Glenn harness. Um, and that, that was developed right here. Yes, a mutiny. The captain thinks the world is around, see? But we all know it's a flat, right? Of course it's flat. Sure, I know the world is flat. Well, yeah, so do I. Everybody knows that. Good, good. So we are taking um, that capability um, and we're benchmarking it for our next generation designs for uh, missions to Mars, Mars Transit, these um, long duration missions. Um, all of that is um, being taken, um, and, and the ultimate, uh, well, the goal for the, towards the end of the decade for space station is to uh, bring that all together in an integrated, um, optimized countermeasure suite, uh, which will right. be our, our best. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, right, right, right sure, it's in the ground. What town, sir? What town? Why, that's easy. Now there's the whole flat world as we know it. Flat, round, flat. Round. Lumbo, the world, she's flat. 
the world that she's around. She's flat. All the time, prove. Approve a schmoove. She's around. Don't let your spaghetti boil over, Chris. I'll prove it for you. How are you gonna prove? I think the world was flat. Facts, the truth. Air show to a close. The decision to return nonstop to Beale Air Force Base by way of Los Angeles was announced. No record existed for this flight, although the airlines fly it regularly in 12 to 14 hours. The SR-71, designed a decade ago, with thousands of hours above Mach 3 to its credit, flying reconnaissance missions in the defense of the United States.